Let's start with the uh, Six Nations. Uh, France against Ireland tomorrow. Uh, I heard someone describing this as a free hit. Was it one of the coaches or the management said it's a free hit tomorrow? Off you go. It's one we're not going to win. So no. let's just say that. But that's OK. This is a relatively new Irish panel and management. Mm -hmm. They're up against a French team that have several full-time players in France. Mm -hmm. If you play full-time, you play for your club full-time, whereas in England, it's actually a central contract. And, and we Wales saw that difference in the Wales game. Massive you know, in the first game, when it came to the end of the game, physicality. Uh, the Irish captain said the physicality is what beat them in the end. And that's down to them being full-time, isn't it? Yeah, and Wales are only full-time since January, yeah. but that they have made a massive leap mm -hmm. since they gave out those 12 full-time contracts and 12 part-time contracts. I watched Wales games in the autumn and they were good, but you could actually see how much they had improved even since January, since those contracts kicked in. For Ireland, they haven't had a whole, time of, a whole pile of pitch time together uh, in recent weeks by comparison to the other countries. And they're also trying to bring through players and develop things. And you could see a bit of that last week against Wales. I know they lost, mm. but it wasn't all negative. Like, as you said, fitness maybe towards the end was a bit of an issue compared to a lot of full-time athletes. Mm. But a lot of that would go down to maybe a bit of inexperience and managing the set piece, which wasn't um, amazing for us last week. And also we gave away an awful lot of penalties. They really need to cut down on that because France will punish them if they do that again this week. What do you make about Bevin Parsons being uh, named on the bench again? Like That's she, a curious one. She, it? in the words of the head coach, I might add, is our most exciting player. Yeah. Um, there was some talk that maybe she was coming back from injury and that's why she was held back. But for this week, I don't think that excuse rings through. The coach basically said, I don't want to send a message to the players who started last week and played last week that they did anything wrong by changing the team. Now, I'm paraphrasing him, so I don't want to misquote yeah. him. But she is by far and away our most exciting talent. She is a line breaker. And I, I have to say, I'm, I'm scratching my head a bit as to why she isn't starting this game. Mm. And that's not to offend Lucy Mulhall or Amy Lee Murphy no. Crow, who were good on the wings last week. But Parsons as something a bit different. Now, Greg McWilliams and Eve Briggs and all the coaching staff, they're working with these players. They have an insight into it that we don't. We don't of so course, it, yeah. it's not necessarily the wrong decision. From the outside, people are kind of talking about it. But isn't it great that we have that depth of talent in that back three that we're debating as to who should go in there? Yeah, true. As opposed That's to saying, look, true. get Parsons in there. She, she can get in behind teams. She can create these fantastic attacking moments. I... My fear is, is that by the time she gets on against yeah, France... The, the ship game, has sailed. Yeah, yeah. And, and look, again, this is a developing Irish squad. Mm. To look only at the result of this match would be very narrow-minded. I don't think that's what people should be looking okay. out for. So I think Parsons not starting is... It's an interesting call, but look, I'm sure there is method to the decision.